President Biden has said the U.S. would come to Taiwan's defense if it were attacked by China. The comments are a departure from a long-standing U.S. policy of being vague about its commitments to the island. A White House spokesman has told U.S. media outlets that his remarks did not signify a change in policy. Well, I'm joined now by Professor Kerry Brown, who's director of the Lao China Institute at King's College London. Uh, Kerry Brown, thank you for joining us. What do you make of these comments by President Biden? Well, the context of the comments is a uh, kind of increasingly difficult relationship between China and the United States, with China in the last few weeks having uh, military kind of exercises very, very close to Taiwan and also incursions into Taiwan's uh, airspace. So in that context, uh, these comments are a sort of sign to Beijing to just, uh, you know, lay off. Uh, but the problem is that in Beijing, uh, their kind of mindset is uh, America is already too pushy and forceful, and they don't feel that this is really an issue for America to get involved in because they regard uh, the Taiwanese issue as an internal issue, even though, of course, America regards Taiwan as being a, a kind of separate entity. Now, the, the White House quite quickly said that there had been no change in policy. These were uh, comments made in a town hall kind of situation, not pre-prepared. Do you think President Biden slightly misspoke or did he mean to say what he said? I'm sure it's deliberate. It's an extremely important area of policy. It's always been kind of covered in ambiguity. In 1979, uh, when the United States shifted diplomatic recognition from Taiwan to the People's Republic, uh, it had the Taiwan Relations Act. And that really kind of commits the United States to, you know, kind of taking care or like being very aware of Taiwan's security. Uh, to say that they would stand by Taiwan, of course, is a much stronger statement. But it's not a, a kind of unexpected statement because America has said that it is Taiwan's principal security guarantor. Just a few minutes ago here on BBC World News, a previous guest said that Taiwan right now is the most dangerous potential flashpoint in the world. What do you think of that? Yes, it is an extremely difficult situation because 23 million people on Taiwan certainly don't believe that their fate should be wrapped up with that of, you know, the People's Republic. They're very strongly Taiwanese in their identity. And I think Beijing's kind of stance is that it knows that any military intervention would be really, really disastrous and catastrophic. And yet it feels extremely anxious and I mean, kind of wound up by the way that America and others are kind of getting more and more involved in this issue, like it's a provocation. So words really matter in this issue because they can be misinterpreted and things can escalate really quickly. There are very clear red lines. Professor Kerry Brown, director of the Lao China Institute at King's College here in London. Good to talk to you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much.